Hi, in this video, we are going to show you that, how to stop copying of data, in computer using, mFile anti-copy. mFile anti-copy is an unique and advanced program, to restrict any copying, sharing, misusing and altering of data in computer, by any unauthorized user. We have already installed, mFile anti-copy in this computer, and we have its icon on desktop. In first phase, all required adjustments are done, selecting and activating protection features of mFile anti-copy. Open program of mFile anti-copy, using run as administrator option in right-click context menu, because this program intercepts with system processes. A predefined password is used to execute mFile anti-copy, this make it sure that no authorized user can interfere or change safety measures taken by mFile anti-copy after typing predefined password, login button is clicked. mFile anti-copy is executed and user interface of it appears in which initially features or options are displayed regarding to anti-copy portion. Let us take a closer look that how to use any feature of mFile anti-copy. We are going to use initially projected anti-copy portion of mFile anti-copy. To use anti-copy feature of mFile anti-copy in portion of anti-copy of program, click on option anti-copy for all files, folders and drives because here we want to restrict copying in computer to avoid duplication through copied items. A message box will appear, in which activate button will be clicked for activation of anti-copy feature, in mFile anti-copy. Activate button is going to be clicked. Required feature of anti-copy, has been activated. After clicking the activate button, all operating windows of program will be closed. Every time when features are selected, activated, or altered in mFile anti-copy, then it is essential to sign in again into computer after signing out, or simply restart the computer, to take in effect the changing in program. We are going here signing in again after getting sign out. After signing in again or restarting, computer is ready to run, under the effects of mFile anti-copy after the execution of this program, whenever protection of selected features of mFile anti-copy is required, just execute this program. In second phase, re-execution of mFile anti-copy will apply the protection of selected, or activated features to computer in real time, as we activated previously anti-copy for all files, folders, and drives feature, of mFile anti-copy, which is active now, and looked with green circled tick, there is no further need for keep opening mFile anti-copy, just close it. Now if we copy, any file or folder in computer, then it cannot be pasted anywhere, because computer is under effect of such a anti-copy service of mFile anti-copy, that nothing can be copied using context menu. Let us check, by copying an item using right-click context menu. Let us copy any file, from sample folder placed at desktop. For example, among these all files, we copy, this Microsoft Word-based document file. This file is going to be copied, using right-click context menu. Copied file can be duplicated after pasting, let us see, what do happen next. After copying any item, if we try to paste it anywhere in computer, then we will see that, paste option from the context menu is disabled to perform pasting, paste option is dimmed and grays out, so, pasting is not possible using context menu or keyboard shortcut command control v even any file or folder cannot be copied through dragging process 
left buttons drag event is used, to copy any item from one to another location, but in case of under the use of anti-copy service of M file anti-copy, no item can be dragged to create its another copy. As we can see that, copying through drag and drop is useless, nothing can be copied through dragging. Anti-copy feature of M-File anti-copy, is working well. When anti-copy service of M-File anti-copy is not required, then we can deactivate it, as we are using, anti-copy for all files, folders, and drives feature, of M-File anti-copy to prevent copying, so if want to deactivate this feature, then we shall click it, after executing M-File anti-copy. In the portion of anti-copy of M-File anti-copy. Feature of, anti-copy for all files, folders, and drives, will be clicked. In appeared box, deactivate button will be clicked to unactive under use anti-copy feature. Deactivate button is clicked. Under use anti-copy feature, has been deactivated, and now copying can be done as normal. Let us check by copying something in computer. For example, we are going to copy a Microsoft Word based file, named document. This file is going to be copied, from context menu. Now copied file or folder can be pasted, at any desired place, as we are going to paste already copied document file at desktop, right clicked on desktop and clicked on paste option in context menu. Microsoft Word based document file has been pasted at desktop, so, it's mean that, copy and paste service is working in computer after deactivating anti-copy feature in M-File anti-copy. Just like described method, any other feature of any portion of M-File anti-copy, can be used by making it active, and can be made unactive, as per need, we can use any single feature of any portion of M-File anti-copy, or we can use multiple desired features of same or different portions simultaneously, as per requirement, let us take a short look at it all available features of different portion of M-File anti-copy. In the interface of M-File anti-copy. Anti-copy, anti-copy is first portion of M-File anti-copy. This portion contain, several anti-copy features. Anti-copy for all files, folders, and drives, this feature can block copying of all files and folder in computer. Anti-copy for specified drives, this feature can block copy process from a specified number of drives in computer, like C, D, E, F drives. We can restrict copying on any drive. Anti-copy for specified folders, we can block copying process, for a specified number of folders in computer. Selected folders and data inside them, cannot be copied while using this feature. We can easily add required folders, by navigating to them. Anti-copy for specified files, using this feature, any desired set of individuals files can be protected, from being copied in computer. We can set single or few files, under copy protection selectively.
Anti-copy for specified types, this feature can help us, to block copying of specific file types, with respect to their extensions. We can restrict any kind of file types, with accordance to their extensions, like zip, text, PDF, docs, JPG, MP3, MP4, EXE and all of the others. Copy, move, in this portion, tools are provided to copy and move items even under effects of anti-copy features. We can copy and move all protect files and folder without terminating or deactivating anti-copy features. Copy files, folders, this feature make us able, to copy files and folders, from one place to another, even under protection of anti-copy tools of M-file anti-copy. We can copy files, with the help of M-file anti-copy, separately. And, we can copy folders, with the help of M-file anti-copy, separately. Move files, folders, this feature make us able, to move files and folders, from one place to another, even under protection of anti-copy tools, when pasting through context menu is disable. We can move files, with the help of M-file anti-copy, separately. And, we can move folders, with the help of M-file anti-copy, separately. Anti-delete within this portion of M-file and copy, feature is located, which can be used to block deleting of files, and folder in computer, we can restrict deletion of data, using this portion of program. File, folder anti-delete, this feature can disable deletion of files, folders, or both in computer, so, data will be safe accidental or intentional deleting, no item can be deleted from computer, if this feature is used. Deleting process, can be blocked through M-file anti-copy. Anti-run, by this portion containing features, we can control execution, and running of files and programs in computer. In the portion of anti-run. Anti-run for all files, by using this feature. No user will be able to open, run, and execute any file or program in computer. All data files, will be non-openable, however, exception can be set, for files or programs to run, even in this anti-run mode. Anti-run for specified window titles. This feature help us, to block execution of files and program, with a specific window title. Multiple titles can be added, to be restricted, from opening and running. Anti-run for USB devices, this feature provides us capability, to make connected USB drive write protected, and USB port protection. In USB write protection, no file can be created, or modified in connected USB drive, while, USB port protection will disable any USB drive, from being connected with computer, so, no data can be transferred, or copied to USB drive without permission. Other, all other miscellaneous features, of M-file anti-copy are available in this portion. This portion contain important features, like settings, drive locker, and uninstall. We can use any feature placed here, in case of need. Settings, settings can be used to make active, or unactive many important parameters, required when M-file anti-copy is executing actively, we can change settings, regarding Windows Registry, Task Manager, Windows CMD, drag and drop, send to menu, Windows CD burning, file upload and attachment and format drive. From here, password can be changed, to access M file anti-copy.
Drive Locker, we can lock any drive of computer, from being accessed. Drive Locker can make any drive restricted, from any usage. Even system drive can be locked. Uninstall. It is not possible to uninstall M file anti copy, from at or remove programs section, of Windows operating system. Uninstall feature within M file anti copy is used, to uninstall this program. It make impossible uninstalling of M file anti copy, by any unauthorized user, to bypass its copy protection through uninstallation. M file anti copy provides almost all required tools, and features, which are necessary to safeguard our computer, and its data, against any unauthorized physical access of other persons. If you like this video, then don't forget to support us, subscribe us, to get more stunning videos about copy protection in future, thanks.